Hey Cancers, welcome into Sage, Sunset Healing Tara. Thank you for being here and I do hope you are well. All right. Thank you so much for liking the video, sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel. All of your show of support means so much to me and is abundantly appreciated. <clears throat> Cancers, I am going live on Facebook where we'll be able to interact so do hit the subscribe button and look in the description box to follow my facebook page where we'll be going live i could use some more friends on facebook i'm not really on there often but i do go live from time to time and sometimes i'm alone in there so if you want to join me in that little space where i go live um, subscribe to the channel and follow my community post so you know I'll post the time when I'll be going live over there on Facebook all right it's just easier to go live on Facebook for me right now so right now we're gonna be talking about your broken heart whatever it was because we do know this is healing tarot so we're talking about healing and well-being so we know in your past maybe childhood you had experiences of sadness of being left alone of feeling alone neglected not involved not included of feeling ice cold feeling like shutting down your heart space you know from connecting intimately because you feel like maybe no one really understood you no one got you i feel like you were the black sheep of your family but guess what you are a star seed so now we have the ten of swords now you've grown or you know you're awakening you're shedding you're coming through this heartbreak this hard life situation you're at the end of it with the ten from the three of swords to the ten cancerian so now here you are at the ten for me the ten card in playing cards the ten of swords is tarot um is tower energy okay so it's out with the old and with the new you're shedding and you're moving into something greater spiritually and it's um your breath work your breathing your mind your clarity your focus your willpower your determination the way you're going to be standing up for yourself speaking up moving forward like a soldier crab you know what i mean okay because you have a purpose you are in fact a soldier crab i feel with this light seed energy on your back you know how the, the crab claws look like stars sometimes you're that kind of a crab maybe it's the hermit okay so tell me more about the ten of swords hmm. all right so many cards came out but you see transitioning you know, some of you are still going through lonely nights, rainy season, feeling alone and not being understood and all these things. Mental torment, not believing your path, not having courage, not connecting to your ancestors, your spirits, your guides, really feeling cut off from the divinity. But I feel you go through in these spaces so that you can learn more. I'm telling you, you are so very powerful. It feels the energy of a decoder. Like you're able to go into the the um the dark night of the soul kind of vibration and learn more. So even though you could be crying, you're learning. And you're so super tough that you're coming out. You see these brilliant tens that came up to represent you. The ten of pentacles, you're going to receive from what you've got gone through. A better wording came through, but I lost it. It's like you're going to re get rewards for it. It's like you, this, your entire life is a spiritual journey, I feel. And you've, you are just so very divine, I see. Um, as you go through this evolutional phase of shedding, you learned a lot. Mm -hmm. You became a master, I feel, of your emotions. The two of swords is my ninja energy yay so you've become very skillful like i say it's like you're going through a, a life training i don't know there's something amazing coming up for you a lot of as i say rewards for what you've been through and all that you've been going through but the rewards the financial rewards is not what it is about you know the rewards are literally to help you to continue onward to where you need to be 
Tell me more about where Cancer needs to be. This feels angelic. It's like source, connected to source. You need to forget some things and remember the truth of who you are. Tell me more about this energy. Seeking and finding the soul. I see like you need to close a door or a window on your past. Oh, look at this. On your past, especially your physical self, your physical story, all that you went through, all these things. Your healing need not to be focused upon that now, but your strengths needs to be empowered. For it is not only where you've come from, but it's what you're meant to do. It's time now that you learn, you know now, like, yeah, I'm here for a reason. I know I went through all of this, okay? I know I'm strong because I went through all of this. I'm still here, so... Universe, I'm ready, I guess. I'm ready. Show me what I'm really here to do. You know, that's the energy. Show me what I'm really here to do. No, I know I went through all of this for something, show. So show it to me. What is it? That's the path you're on now. And it could be taking you inside out, you know what I mean? Maybe you're thinking you're going to go travel the world. But this journey could be really, you're just at home thinking of all the things that you went through and healing that and I feel it's then as you begin to come together you start moving where is cancer moving to show me no and I hear a spy show me a spy show me a frequency a cry, what you're not hearing, what are you hearing? <clears throat> you're going on a journey, you're going to be victorious, something that you speak. Um, what does Cancer need to work on the most? Your focusability, your intention, your strategy, your moves. You know, I do feel, um, what's this? Checker board, it's not check. What's the, what's the, it's not checkers, it's um, that game where you have to really focus and move the pieces on the board. Chess, okay. Mm -hmm. It's like playing a game of chess, you're the king. You have to really be focused on the move, watching the other players. Yeah, and you have to really compose yourself and gather your creative thoughts and feelings and energies and point them in one direction. I'm also seeing mirror energy here. I want you to pay more attention to your appearance to you, the sharpness. Your appearance, what is this? Show me what this is about Cancer's appearance. What is this, Cancer's a reflection? Mm. Oh, look at this. Your appearance, there could be a soulmate coming into you, a business opportunity. I do think the sharpness, even in the way you look, I feel like you should align with your true self. You know what I mean? The way you carry your external body, your physical body should match how you feel and think about yourself. So you are a true representative of yourself with integrity and your full expression of self. We have the Queen of Swords here to clarify the King of Swords. This is just telling me about the vision that you need to put in to manifestation, even if it is just in phys um, spiritual form. You need to have a vision, and there's something that you need to protect. It's almost like don't let anyone steal your vision or your hopes and your dreams. There's something that you're protecting. What is this flower that cancer is protecting? It has something to do with your heart and love, saving yourself maybe for the right person. What is cancer? What is that? What is a flower? This cancer is protecting. Your intuition, your child, your spiritual gifts, your heart, your courage. It's almost like it's your life, really. Mm -hmm. Any other last messages? 
Okay, and then we have this one that maybe you broke up with that loves you, wants to come around to you, sees you as ha. Ah. Yeah, but you've blocked this person. <laughs> the motherfucker I'm, I'm sorry that's the person you blocked them and you're very serious what's this person wants to say to cancer cancer you're serious about this it's almost like you're telling this person to watch out to leave it's the end it's done you know they involved you with something that they weren't supposed to have you involved with another person I don't know what they're coming around with. they want to say something to you tell me Something about money and you moving on and well-being. Maybe they want to give you money. They think that will help to heal. I mean, are you open to receiving this? Possibly, cancer. But they maybe think this will create some kind of a justice in this situation. And then maybe they will be able to talk to you. Maybe this person wants to buy some of your time, of your attention, as if they think it's... I don't know. This person loves cancer. Show me if this person loves cancer. Oh my goodness. What does this person want from cancer? I don't know. What the, is this person true? Oh, they're following in their heart though. It's like they feel like they have to do this, make this gesture toward you. What is this person bearing in their hand? What is this person coming with? What is this? I'm running out of cards, so maybe the answers are limited. <laughs> What's the person coming with? It's an answer. The keys to heaven, I don't know. The keys. So, how soon is this person coming? Next three days, maybe. How soon? When should cancer expect this person to visit or call? Maybe this person wants to propose marriage. You're the one I've always wanted to marry. Maybe this person is coming to your home, Cancer. It's possible. Maybe it's a person you once worked with. You are attracted to this person, but you're not the only one blocking them. You have your spirits and guides around you. They feel, see, know you're protected because you're growing. See? It's been telling me this person wants to come in the page of cups, the page of cups. And they do see you as being bloomingly attractive. You see this, very connected to the divine, attractive, spiritual, working on your business, focused. I'm getting the sense that you may see this person. You know what I mean? You may accept this gift that they're issuing forth to you. Okay. I feel cancer. You may enter into a place of business where... <clears throat> Your entire self, the way you bring yourself, you look like a spiritually connected divine being, very beautiful. The Page of Cups, you're not looking for love, you're just looking youthful and beautiful, very fresh. And then you go into a place of business to conduct some business. <laughs> and this person admired, just looks at you so vibrantly. I don't know, this person could be selling flowers or something or potions, but you're going to purchase something, I feel or ask questions or something, I don't know. Maybe you're going to speak to this person about something that you have learned. Uh, hmm. I just feel like you healed someone a while ago. I swear, like someone had a lesion or a cut or a bump that turned into a sore. And it was affecting something, maybe their money or their health. And you heal it. And this person is surprised or shocked. I don't know. All right, Cancer, leaving your messages here. Thank you so much for coming through. I do really appreciate you participating on my channel. All of you are so beautiful. Um, so remember that your all and all is within you. On your way out, do leave a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe if you have not already. And share the video with those you love. All of your support. Is abundantly appreciated by me. I will see you in the next one, Cancer. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. 
Sea moss has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about sea moss health benefits or to order your first premium grade sea moss, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.